What's up, y'all? No, I'm not homeless. I'm just behind Barbell Brigade in the back where all the trash is at. Um, today's focus was to not go ham and actually finish the reps. And I'm actually lucky that deadlifts killed me yesterday. So my CNS is so fried and I'm so fatigued that I'm not even able to go ham to begin with. So it makes me want to use lighter weight. But they gave me a revelation and epiphany because when you bodybuild and you do the accessories, you want to hit your reps of 10, 12, 15 reps to get hypertrophy in certain muscle fibers that can only hit hypertrophy in those rep ranges. When you start ego lifting and you're doing reps of 12, 15, and you're like, oh, this shit's too light, let me add more weight, then you start going to the rep ranges of five and eight, and although it feels good to lift heavier, you're not fatiguing the muscles, you're not hypertrophizing the muscles that you need to hypertrophize. So it's very important to train in all kinds of different rep ranges. Reps of three, five, eight, 12, 15, so that you can maximize the hypertrophicationalisms of your muscular phenomenalcations of the quadricepius, uh, scientific, almanac, biblical studies. And uh, I learned all of that from different professors of all over the world in uh, body powerlifting, uh, it's, it's very deep. So anyways, thanks to the extreme ham deadlift workout, and by ham I don't mean pork, <laughs> I mean uh, Kanye's song, Hard as a Motherfucker, Goddamn Machines, I was able to focus on the rep ranges and that pump that you can only get from bodybuilding, I was able to experience again, and that's how you're gonna grow the muscle. Not by swinging your arms and just going through the motions, but by really focusing on the muscular endurance of the constitution of the Fahrenheit. So, that's what I learned today, and I was very happy to be able to finish the workout, and uh, now I'm gonna go into my bed. So Brian, John, Shiva, and Jasmine decided to stop by. And I know it's not easy for them to stop by because they're from the Bay Area and San Diego, but it was a pleasant surprise to meet them. Um, especially Shiva and Jasmine, that's the first time I've ever met them. Brian and John 